All right, this is number five in our proof festival. Um, all right, so if we look at this big expression that we're trying to prove, it seems like it makes sense to start on the left side. Um, and then I could change everything to sine and cosine. That certainly would be allowed. But I'm going to try something else before I do that. I mean, what I notice is that, and there's this, by the way, there's no right or wrong uh, way to do it. I'm just going to show you this way. I see a fraction plus a fraction is equal to one fraction. So I'm thinking I'm adding fractions. I'm going to do a common denominator. All right, so I'm going to start on the left. And I'm simply first going to find a common denominator, which is tan x times secant x plus 1. Okay? So I have to multiply this fraction by secant x plus 1 over secant x plus 1, which is secant x minus 1 times secant x plus 1. And I have to multiply this fraction by tangent x over tangent of x. So that's plus tangent squared x. All right, so... Why don't we multiply out this up here? That's going to be secant squared x minus 1 plus tangent squared x. And this is tangent of x times secant x plus 1. Okay. Um, now, this is sort of off to the side. Those Pythagorean identities... If I divide both sides by that sine squared x plus cosine squared equals x equals 1, I'm going to end up with a tangent. If I divide both sides by sine squared x, I'm going to end up with a, sorry, by cosine squared x, I'm going to end up with a tangent squared, and I'm going to end up with a secant squared. So secant squared and tangent squared go together. So let's do that. Let's divide both sides by cosine squared. So I get tangent squared x plus 1 equals secant squared x. That means secant squared x minus 1 equals tangent squared x. So I didn't memorize that, but it's, I have it pretty quickly here, and I notice that I have secant squared x minus 1 here. So I'm going to make that substitution to say that's equal to tangent squared x. So I have tangent squared x plus tangent squared x equals tan x uh, over tan x times secant x plus 1. I have two tangent squared x up there. So that's two tangent squared x over tangent x secant x plus 1. And I don't know, is the 2 good? Well, I see a 2 here. So it seems like that might be good. All right, and now I see a tangent in the top and a tangent in the bottom. I want to cancel one of those out. So I have 2 tangent of x over secant of x plus 1. And now let's just change it to sine and cosine. So this is 2 sine x over cosine x over 1 over cosine x plus 1. All right, now let's clear that fraction out by multiplying by cosine x over cosine x. Okay, so that's 2 sine x. Okay, and this is 1 plus cosine x. Hmm. That's what we want. So we are done. Wow again. We're awesome.